Good evening and good morning, uh, everyone on the MYBC Facebook page. It is time for another edition of the MYBC Virtual Bookstore Author Series. And you know, this was a bookstore, virtual bookstore that I put together back at the end of 2020 to showcase how I love to learn and the books that I love to learn with. And it morphed into be able to bring the authors from wherever they are in the world to talk about how they wrote their books and why. So without further ado, please introduce yourself and good morning. So good to be here with you, Jeanette, for your author series. I've been seeing your author series all over Facebook for all this time and what an honor it is to be here. Hi everybody, I'm Terry Lee Harrison. I'm coming to you from Singapore this morning for me and I'm just super excited to be here. I um, run a global online referral organization. I'm passionate about teaching business owners how to network in the most dynamic and lucrative way and, and my latest book um, just came out two weeks ago. So, so excited to talk to you about it, Jeanette. So before we get to the title of that, because it's near and dear to my heart, um, and I have a couple of stories to share about networking analogies and a very big success story because of you and uh, your global networking organization. So Terry Lee, tell us a little bit about your background. What took you to Singapore and where are you originally from? Ah, uh, so... In my life today, I sit here before you in Southeast Asia, and so I'm like 55, Jeanette, and I've lived like half my life in the Midwest, in Ohio, in the U.S. I was living in Southern California. My next half of my life did this little stint here in Singapore. We came here for my husband's work five years ago. In fact, Jeanette, I don't think you know my big announcement. We just found out two weeks ago that we will be coming back to the States this June. Oh, so that could mean I could see you sooner in person than I, think I was so. thinking I'd be able to see you. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm thinking so. So that's, yeah, that's all new big news and um, pretty exciting. Do you know where you're going to land back in the United uh, States? We're doing our best to land back in Houston, Texas, where our granddaughter and granddaughter number two will be. Beautiful. I have lots of friends because of you in Houston in our global networking organization we're both part of. Yes. So let's just talk about the journey of writing a book. And you're mm. a multi-book writing author. And that's yeah. something I didn't know. And that's, mm. um, I love to be present because you are the present to me right now with your time currency you're exchanging with me. So let's just talk about the book writing journey. Yep. How, what did that look like and how did you set yourself up for success for that for all mm. the books you've, read, uh, you've written mm. Terry? you know what it's been a journey over the last 10 years so I've been a part of 10 different book projects in that time and some of them I wrote on my own some of them a couple of them I co-authored and several were collaborative books and you know, every time it doesn't change how special it feels. <laughs> it doesn't right. change how special it feels. But but every time that process just gets a little easier because of the experience, right? Uh, and so the thing about this book was I had um, I keep I think you know Jeanette me well enough to know I have my goals you know on my wall, and I oops I had a networking book on my bucket list for quite a while, but it took me. Um, stepping out in business and someone saying it's time that you write your book that I was like all right so that was the end of October and it was basically written by end of December mid-December and in editing by mid-December but, but this is what I want to share for all our business owner friends is anything is possible and I think that you all would be surprised how much content you already have created a lot of my content started off with, because in 2020, I did what I called the weekly online workshop. And right. so I was every week putting out content on networking. And I was able to take that for like each of the sections is like the beginning piece, right? You'd be surprised everyone how much you've already done. It's just pulling it all together. And then the gift once it is together is then it's together. And every time you need to do a video, do a live, uh, speak, you, you know, your information's all there and you just pull it from there and you teach from it. It's, it's, I think you all would be surprised how quickly everyone could do a book if they choose to. 
And it's interesting you say that because you have seen me, we've met each other about a year and a half now, almost maybe two years. And whenever I put out, I love my anagram poems. They just inspire me to today. I made one about the Ukraine and used the letters in the word Ukraine to make this beautiful post, um, poem post. And every time I do it, somebody of my sphere of people out there in the world goes, and Jeanette, the book is coming out when? <laughs> my <laughs> right. book of poetry is coming out when? Right. So uh, I went, oh, soon. You know what it is? I'm learning vicariously through the authors that I get the privilege to be in front of, to, yes. to learn. And the question that I ask you is you, I know a little bit about your husband is, I think, a dean at a, um, in mm -hmm. a school, an international yep. school there in Singapore. Yep. You, how did he support you in this vision? Because uh, to make this happen in two months, you would have had to be a turtle in order for this to happen, uh, from my mind's eye. Okay, so it gets even better. Okay, so <laughs> my husband is one of the best editors that I know. Oh. And... I said to him, because he, he's been so slammed because there's no visiting teachers coming in because of COVID. So he's been teaching back to back to back. And part of getting the book done and the timing of it, Jeanette, was because I wanted him to edit it during his break. So he took off on, talk about like the understanding <laughs> is, right. is like he just knew that, yes, I was going to hunker away and do this in the six weeks it took, right? Um, and, and then also his dedication to start off his break cleaning up my stuff. <laughs> so um, it was it was truly a gift. And you know what? That's the thing in these projects is it can be a family affair. I think yeah. people would be surprised how much you can do on your own. It's just like everything else. We don't know how to do it. So the audience doesn't know. Um, I have been on social media for years but yet I had not been on Instagram. So it wasn't that long ago that my assistant and I reached out to um, Jeanette and we admitted, we admitted, we know nothing and we need you to take us from the beginning. And the thing about that is books are the same. Books are the same. You'd be surprised what you, you know, how much you can do it. So yeah, his understanding of it was, was huge. Um, but I think even now already he sees the benefits of having done it. So would he do it again? Probably. <laughs> So with um, without further ado, uh, ado, that was a little drum roll on my laptop here. Let's see this book. Uh, Let's see. Um, do you have that? Do you have one handy there? Of course I do. Okay. So, oops, is it, so on my screen, I'm, I have such a delay. I don't know if you see it. So no. I, and I have to share with you all that to get this book to Singapore, Oh my gosh, like it took weeks and weeks. My timing of it, I was in the US in January. My timing didn't work out to bring the book um, with me from the US. And so I think it took over three weeks to arrive. So to have my copy in hand was like such a big deal. And I was watching the mailbox every day. Don't think if it's your 10th book project, you don't care because I was on the mail every day. So what excites me most about this book, Jenna, is that when it comes to networking, and I'm sure you agree, this is one of the most important skills we can ever learn in our life. And it's just too darn bad they don't teach us this in school. Absolutely. You know, all our kids, us, you know, I believe it's, I found in my life that it's always who we know, not what we know. Um, the only reason we're in Singapore is because of who my husband knew, right? And the only reason we're going home, right? I can just, I can just say all the things in our life, even my kids' life. I watch it in their life too, right? Mm -hmm. So if I was to say what the guts of this is, it would be that if I was teaching networking in school based on my 15 ex years experience, this would be what I would guide everyone to do. So let's, let's get into the title. Mm -hmm. Why that title? And this uh, is the subtitle underneath it. Okay. So high level networking is the title. And for me, it's not just basic things that you need to know. Are they included? Yes, of course. But yet this is this is this is not just your basic thinking. It's 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 strategies, methods for building. Um, it's the subtitle is strategies to expand your network, build referral relationships and joint venture partnerships and grow your email list. So these are things that aren't just your basic. This is where 
you put your business card and this is where you put your name badge. I mean, we're starting to get into some literally higher level concepts. So can a new work networker benefit from the book? Absolutely. Um, but for, how about for the people who've been networking for a long time and they just aren't finding they're getting the referrals they're looking for? There can be answers in this book and takeaways that can shift how you're showing up, shift how you're participating with your networking partners and make a huge difference for all. So at this time, Terry Lee, I'd love for you to read the back of the book. I often ah. say, don't judge the book by the cover, go deep. And that's by flipping it over. So if you wouldn't mind reading the back of your book, please. You know, no one's asked me to do that. In fact, I think it's a great idea. So <laughs> do any of these networking results seem familiar? You wing it in your one minute commercial, even... Wait, if you ha even have a one minute commercial at all, and of course it gives you wing it results, not much if anything. You spend hours networking, attempting to reach more people, but then you don't follow up. You want to collaborate with other business owners, but don't know where to start. You worry where your next customer is coming from. If you resonate with any of the above results, you'll want to read high level networking. Networking works when you know how to work it. And if your business is not where you want it to be, you need to reach more of the right people. And the strategies Terry Lee Harrison shares will put you on the right track. It's a fact. The more you network, the more business owners you connect with, the more money you can make. Wow. I, I, I'm just going to share two visuals with you. Um, first visuals when I was explaining it to someone because they asked me why I love to network so much. And I said, well, I'm... a the middle child of a blended family of their seven kids and I'm right in the middle, you know, girl, boy, boy, girl, boy, boy, girl. I, I feel I learned compromise, collaboration, community, connection, all in one. And when I came out of the womb, I was looking at the doctor going, why are you in my life? And why are you connected to that person? Why? So I think I came out with the, the skill of networking, honestly, and how our family grew up. We networked with our community in order to support our our family. And um, number two analogy that I was teaching somebody says, again, why do you love to network so much? And I said, well, if you think about a fisherman and my, my little terminology I use about building relationships, it's a vehicle. And when you think about a ship, it takes lots of different people to make that ship go. So relationship. Um, and when you make a sale, you make a sale and the person sails away. So yep. That with uh, that networking is you think of the fishermen on the shore making that beautiful net, making that beautiful net in the size of the holes of the size of the fish he wants to get. And yeah. he goes out on the sea and he, you know, pulls it in and that he hopes to get the fish that he needs, but he has to go through and sort through and he may get a big fish and go, you know what, that one has to go, be put aside for a bit and he throws the trash away to get the kind of the good bounty that he wants to do. So that's kind of my little visual for, um, for using with networking is we have to build that net first before we go into it. And it sounds like your book is going to have some fantastic skills to stitch together the, uh, the nets that we need in order for us to succeed in business. Mm -hmm. Sounds, you got it, you, you hit the nail on the head, my friend. Mm, no wonder you're such a great networker. Everybody, Jeanette's one of my favorite networkers on the planet, by the way. So oh, much appreciation to you. I'm so excited and, you're yeah. coming back to my continent. This is like, yes. <laughs> I know, we're practically neighbors now. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. So Terry mm -hmm. Lee, at this time, I'd love for you to tell us why you're an expert in networking mm -hmm. and what is the company that you run? Oh, thank you for that. So um, I have actually been doing networking as a business for over 15 years. I first dabbled in networking uh, in 2005 and six, and I was doing a financial services business and starting to learn how to network. Uh, by the way, I tell very funny stories in high level networking about oh, uh, my, how I first how I first started off in networking and how bad I was. OK, all throughout the book. OK, but I began to love networking more than my business. And the thing about that particular business was there were so many things that squelched it, all the compliance issues, everything I wanted to do for marketing, I couldn't do. So it ended up that someone said to me, I thought I was special at the time, but they said, you know, I can't do this group, but you could. 
And I thought I was special. People ask people to do groups all the time, huh, Jeanette? And do you know what I'm saying? And so the thing about it um, was, is that this ended up, has ended up being my business and my life all these years. This is the only business I've ever done. I've worked with thousands of business owners, mostly face-to-face -face in Southern California, but things morphed with my move to Singapore in 2017. And in 2018, we, we um, came online with online networking. And, and so my company is Team Referral Network. The chapters that I am passionate about growing, I still have some face-to-face -face chapters in Southern California, and I love those people there. Um, but the passion, or what I'm passionate about growing, is these online chapters where we're bringing together people nationally and globally. And it's just been um, absolutely stunning for people who would like to check it out. I hope it's okay if I say you can go oh, to VT, vteamnetwork.com and check it out. And if you know and love Jeanette and you would like to be invited to visit what she's up to at her chapter, I'm sure she'd be happy to ask you. But I'm willing to bet everyone watching that she already did. <laughs> That's how Jeanette is. It's a possibility that I'm... It's a it's a great possibility that I'm connecting up. And I want to share with you, Terry Lee, a success story. I would love to hear one. Tell me. That through being um, at Team Referral Networks and specifically the global gatherings that are free mm -hmm. for all business owners that you put out for anybody on this planet, depending on the time zone that you want to wake up and network with people, I met Tracy Poland. And Tracy Poland and I got together um, and I did her W5 stories to help her because mm. she was getting back into business and uh, had another conversation with her in another breakout session and what happens at these global gatherings and got a little bit deeper. And you have something that you say, and I'm sure it's in your book. My book comes March 8th, International Women's Day. I am super duper excited. So Woo! there you go. Um, and you have something that you call, what is your big ask? What is your big ask? And at that particular time and continuing to this day, my big ask was, does anybody know a business school that I could teach my social media classes in and how I use it to build relationships before you pitch? And Tracy said, I have somebody, I know somebody. And she went away and started building the relationship with this person. And Terry Lee, I, it um, almost brings tears to my eyes to say this. My seven social media classes have been accepted at the Northwest University of Business and Economics in Gary, Indiana. That's because of Tracy awesome. Poland. That is awesome. So without you and Suzanne Tube reaching out to see it in me, um, and I've known Suzanne for a long, 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 long time here because she lives in North Vancouver, which is about 70, 80 kilometers away from me to the north. And to see that what you were doing out there in the, the networking world aligned with me. And what mm -hmm. I have to tell you that I look for these days in a networking organization is someone like yourself that mm -hmm. leads, that actively looks for people to network with us. I find that incredibly refreshing and for you to put it down into print and to share mm. this legacy project with the world to change it. My friend, it's an honor to know you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your story. Thank you for your story. You know what comes to mind um, for me is just even also a mutual um, member that we had who um, who's no, he's no longer with us. Like that's the thing about our networking is that sometimes, you know, we just don't know how long it, life is life and we don't know how long we'll have people with us. But I believe that even Dale hooked you up with a school. And the thing about that school yes. was, um, and I don't know what happened with that, but the thing about that school is, um, you know, sometimes, and I'm going to confess, like, I know that school. I know that teacher. I, I've been there and I've taught there face to face myself many years ago, but sometimes we don't think in the moment when you're giving the ask, we don't put all the pieces together, right? And so sometimes it will take other people putting the piece together to make the connection, but that's why we have to put it out there. Mm. We just well, don't know I, who's going to hear it. Well, I can tell you, I just finished last week teaching eight classes at the Business International Academy in Yay. La Sierra High School 
for, and I was teaching them uh, how to use LinkedIn properly to start networking. Nice. Nice. Uh, the grade 12 students and a little bit about Instagram and I'm going back in a couple of months in order to follow up so I can awesome. help these students go on and understand what I love to call social media business etiquette in yeah. uh, and connecting out in the world. So I'm going to wrap this up Terry Lee. I love to ask this question is what who are three people that need to have your book? Ah, uh, so four. Yep. Number one, it would be the person that is ready to give up on networking. Ooh. The person, the person who is like, mm, networking doesn't work for me. These groups don't work for me. Um, what I'm going to challenge that person to do is, is really take a look at how are you showing up in your group, mm -hmm. right? How are you asking for what you need? Are you engaging with the people? Are you participating full out? Right. So, so number one is for the people who they're, they're ready, they're ready to quit. Um, number, was that number three? Am I counting down or going up, Jeanette? That was number You're one. You're at number one. We need two more. <laughs> yeah, two. I was like, am I counting down or going up? Number two, it's, it's the people who um, have shifted in their business. They've shifted in their business. They're doing something new and they need to take a whole new look at how they would show up in their networking. This can be a great time to take all the tools in here and say, I'm going to apply this in my new business. And, and lastly, um, it would be people who run teams of people, people okay. who, who teach teams, want to um, help them because you, we talked about how important networking is. So the people who want to know themselves so that they can pass it on to their team. And I hope it's okay if I throw out, I'm available to speak um, at teams. Oh, great. So whether, yep, whether you have a sales team, whether you're in network marketing and have a team, I'm happy to come and serve your people. So people who want to be in the know to go in, on and empower those people. So those are the three people. There's many more, but those are my top three. And I would add that this would make a phenomenal graduation gift for somebody who is graduating high school. And I would mm. also say this would be a phenomenal um, gift to tuck in to um, even your business school or say your accounting person, whoever's teaching the business courses at high school, um, mm. as well as a guidance counselor. I think this would be a great book to have on a shelf as well. I'm um, affecting change. Uh, you're affecting change at the business level. I'm affecting change at the student level. And I think this book would be amazing because we all know it's not who you know, it's what you know about the who and how that who can get you places what you have never thought possible in your whole entire world. Mm. And, um, and I'm so privileged to know you. I'm going to, I can hardly wait. I've got a special highlighter and um, I already have my tabs because I love to uh, highlight and tab a book up when it comes and, uh, and to, to share out some words of wisdom or write you a review. On, uh, on Amazon once it comes. So uh, Terry Lee, last parting words about being a multiple writing author, is that the proper grammar? Multiple book author, that's the right grammar. Mm, the, what I would like to share is that this is possible for anybody. And it doesn't mean that I didn't do 10 books in five months. You know, this was over a long period of time, this, but this is possible for anyone to serve people in this way. You don't have to be a writer to do it. You can take your, your videos and transcribe them, your courses that you teach and transcribe them. Just, just I, I just want anybody to know that's looking at this and, and sees your author series that it's like, cause I'd like to do that. You can do it. Great parting words. Thank you so much. We'll make sure that Terry Lee puts into the comments on my uh, my Facebook page here to find out where you can go buy buy the book. It comes in an e version as well, an ebook as well as the hard copy. Correct? Yes, it does. Perfect. I wanted a hard copy because I'm I'm a, I'm a page turner when it comes to learning. And um, as I end this all the time, is we all have books surrounding us grab a book, doesn't matter, fiction, nonfiction, comic book, grab a book, it'll take your mind, pump your heart, and take your spirit to places you've never thought possible. So thank you so much once again, Terry Lee, for joining me today all the way from Singapore. She never will let me, though, when we've done meetings, let me know the lottery number. So I don't believe you live in the future. 
I know, I know. Maybe before I leave, maybe before I leave. Okay, well, I might hold you to that. So again, thank you so much. Uh, tune in again next Tuesday. Next Tuesday is International Women's Day and I've got a phenomenal honor, uh, uh, phenomenal author coming up to help me celebrate that day, um, International Women's Day. So enjoy the night out, everybody, and grab a book. Talk to you in a cup of tea. Bye-bye, everybody. You.